welcome back to More Than Peaches Gaming. I'm your host, Mune. And today, as you can see in front of me, I have something that's a little bit out of the ordinary, something that I don't typically talk about. But as many of you already know that visit my channel, I do actually play Final Fantasy games quite regularly, and I do enjoy them. Um, as you may have noticed, uh, the first game that I actually ended up putting a video up for was for Final Fantasy VII. And then shortly after, I did some Final Fantasy Type-0, and then World of Final Fantasy. So without further ado, I'm going to show you exactly what this is. So I am currently in North America. Okay, so this is a North American release of the Final Fantasy uh, trading card game. And I have Opus 7 pre-release kit. So taking a look at it on this side, it looks kind of neat. Um, we got Bart's, and I'm guessing that this is like a black chocobo. And it, it is quite stylish. Um, when you look at the sides, you know, uh, Hobby Japan, Square Enix on that side. On this side, we got, again, the same thing. And then on the back, we have the usual uh, UPC. Contains six packs of Opus 7 uh, and a premium deck case and one pre-release promo card. Uh, and then they have their website where you can go and figure out everything else about it. In case anybody was wondering what was on the bottom, there's nothing there. So, um, as you can kind of see, mine has been slightly open, but uh, nothing else. I just wanted to double check. I, I double checked uh, with people at the store that uh, it was uh, still all the contents were in here. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and crack this open real quick so you can kind of see. So the first thing you see when you open this up from the top view is you're going to see that promo card. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out real quick. So the promo card that you get in this is Yuri. Uh, it has that pre-release stamp. I don't know if you can see it very good. Man, that's really hard to read um, because it is foil. But what it does say is Yuri has all elements except dark. Dull a total of three active backups of the same element or two active backups of the same element and Yuri, select one of the following actions. Draw a card, choose a forward, deal it 4,000 damage, choose one forward, dull it, and freeze it, choose one forward, it loses all its abilities until end of turn. So that's really awesome, it has 8,000 power. Uh, and it is considered a promo. So this is actually pretty good. Every kit comes with one of these, so... And I was lucky enough to do well in uh, a draft, so I got an additional one. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and set that down right there. Um, so the second thing you'll notice is my packs are over here. I am just going to go ahead and take a look at these real quick. So they're all the same art, nothing special. There are six of them total. I'm going to set these down for a moment off to the side. And then I'm going to make note of this. Okay. So you get one of these, which this is a deck case, as many of you might know. Uh, it's got the magnetic strip. It just kind of clicks in. Uh, it is very nice for what it is. It is free when you get these kits, so it's really good. Um... One quick note, uh, you'll notice that in other videos you might see like a white deck case uh, from somebody else in the world. Um, internationally, like in Europe, they get a white deck box. In North America, we get the black one. So uh, it is kind of spiffy and kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead and move that over there. And I'm going to go ahead and take out the last bit of stuff that's in the box. So the bottom of the box, we just got that. Uh, it's just a piece of cardboard, more or less. Uh, I don't know why they have this extra piece of cardboard in here. Uh, let me take a look. Try to yank it. No, no nothing nothing down there. <laughs> that would have been kind of cool if they were like, Oh yeah, we, we secretly hid a card in the box. Please don't do not do that ever, Square Enix. You, your fan will hate you forever if you do that. But then again, kind of cool Easter egg. So, box is empty. Um, so the thing I pulled out of it, though was a welcome to the Opus 7 uh, pre-release event. Uh, so lots of great stuff. They tell you about the new stuff from Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, Rings of Fate, uh, Final Fantasy V, Final Fantasy Legends, and other Final Fantasy 
monsters. So um, this set also features the first appearance of Noctis from Final Fantasy XV, Laswell from Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. All right, and then they have their information and the Final Fantasy TCG North America team. And on the back side is basically kind of how you're supposed to play a pre-release. So simplified sealed, you get six packs, you build a deck of 40 cards and a maximum of 50. You may include any number of the same uh, card serial number in your deck. Characters still follow unique rules. You do not need to pay with CP of uh, backups element to put it into play. However, backups still produce CP based on the character's element. Games are played to six damage instead of the seven damage. So yeah, this is really cool. It makes an additional layer of strategy and makes it a lot easier to play backups that you might not necessarily want to play because they are really good. So that's that. I'm going to go ahead and set that down by our promo. I'm going to move this off of him a bit. I'm going to eventually put him in his sleeve, but here we are. So we have six packs. I am actually going to start opening them. Um, just a heads up that anybody wanting any of these cards, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to sell them on the channel. Uh, you're going to have to look elsewhere for them. Uh, I know there are tons of places that you can probably get them, though I have yet to see any of the singles for this game uh being sold anywhere online so just a heads up that is something to look out for eventually people will have them out i will try to get my cards up there as soon as possible if i pull anything decent otherwise uh good luck on your hunting so without further ado we will be opening this okay just a quick note right there we have that pull tab this is very common in japanese card games uh if you've ever played buddy fight uh or Cardfight Vanguard, or uh, Y Schwartz, or even Japanese Pokemon, you will know that they always have this tab. So, uh, without further ado, oh man, this is tough, tough sleep. Oh my god, okay. So, um, if you are new to the game, one quick note uh, we have different rarities in the game. We have common, uncommon, or right, which our uncommon is called a rare. Our rares are called heroes, and then uh, our harder to get cards are considered legends. So this is uh, obviously a common. You will see uh, the rarity down here in case you're wondering what it is. This one is, let's see if we can get a focus. But focusing on my hand. Ooh, man, that's really hard to focus. Okay, it does not like focusing on... Yes, all right. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and go through these. I'm going to back this up. Oh, yeah, that, that's a lot sharper. Okay. So, we got a Tama, which is not bad. We got Braska. We got, oops, grabbed one too many. We got a Goblin. Goblin is really interesting because you can just discard it from your hand to use an ability. Got a black mage in ice. Got a frit, which can go grab a e frit if it dies. Um, we got a chemist, still pretty good. Got a dancer. I think this is a reprint kind of uh, because there's another dancer in a previous set that does exactly this. So yeah, it's kind of funny. All right, our foil is a ninja. So it's a looks like water ninja. Cool. Our hero is a Cryo. We got an X-Death for our rare. We got a Berserker for our rare. And we got a Vata for our rare. Okay, so not exactly too impressive, but not a bad start. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and organize these real quick in case anybody wants to know what we got. We got ourselves a Kryl. Uh oh camera shifted. You know how that goes. All right. Same it up a little bit. 
All right. So, and we got a ninja because everybody likes ninjas, right? Move it up a little bit further so you can see them. And we're just going to go ahead and set the rest of the cards there. So we're going to go ahead and go to the second pack. Yeah. Alright. Ooh, man. I'm trying to get that sweet spot of that. There it goes. So we got a bard. Gladiator. These cards like to stick together when you're trying to pull them off because it's brand new. Got a goblin again. It's a weird monster card. Um, Red Mage. Got a Titus. Seriously, this is the one that, from the picture of uh, World of Final Fantasy, I don't know why it doesn't come in the type for World of Final Fantasy. It just says Peto Logica. So I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed in the company. For that one, because I like World of Final Fantasy. Alright, we got Yulf. Another Frit. We get our Foil Curl. Our hero is Emperor from Final Fantasy Legend. I think that's where it's from. We get a Dusk. Necromancer. And a Chocobo from World of Final Fantasy. I love this card. Uh, so, nothing really all that special. In this one, I'm going to go ahead and put my hero there and my foil there. So, alright. The chocobos in this set are amazing. And my camera keeps on shifting. I'm really disappointed. It's like you can't keep it there. It's because I keep bumping the camera. Sorry, guys. Uh, plus the table wobbles a little bit, so... Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, that, that's a good start. We got Ifrit to match our Frit. Okay, so this is actually a really great card. Uh, so all of the summons, uh, generally, the three primary roids, uh, Ifrit, Shiva, and uh, Remu, are great because they have lesser versions, like they're forwards, and when they die, you get to go basically get the card. I think you get to cast it. Let me double check. It, it is just really wild. So the Frit... Yeah, you add it to your hand, is what it is. You add Ifrit to your hand. So, definite card advantage there. So, let's go ahead and continue. Oh, let's see. We got a Bumashin uh, soldier. A ninja. A dragoon. Which, dragoons are gotten a major pump in this set. Oops. Uh, you guys can see my foil. We got a Leviathan. A Blizz. So again, this is like Freet. Goes gets Shiva. Get our Mystic Knight. Uh oh. We got uh Alhamalan. I'm not familiar with this card. Um so yeah, it goes to grab uh Chicklin or Yuri. So yeah, I have a Yuri sitting off to the side. Seymour, Eduardo, and uh, Zagnol. Okay, so just a heads up, uh, in these sets, ooh, that's loud, um, if you're doing draft with these, or you're doing sealed, some of these cards are really amazing, okay, Eduardo is really great, um, simply because it can make your opponent discard their hands, uh, or cards from their hand, so, kind of keep that in mind, it is a blessing and a curse to have it. Alright, so go ahead and open this one. Oh my god, these packs. Okay, this pull tab thing is kind of annoying to me because it takes a while to do stuff, okay? And I'll show you a pack, the last pack before I open it, uh, the back of the pack, because I know some people want to see the back, so. Alright, so this one, oops, got a summoner. You got Alexander. You got Mystic Knight. We already got a foil one of that one. You got a Flan. Got a uh, day cred. We got a bomb. This is really good because you can discard it from your hand to do stuff. We got a ranger, and then we got a Kolka, which is our foil, 
and we got a Kamari. Uh, he is a hero. Not that great, but not that bad. Uh, we got another Vala. Got a Snow, which I'm going to say in Sealed and Draft, this thing is the boss. And hell, I think it's good in Constructed Play too. So, not bad. And if you open this pack, you may have noticed the Moogle right behind it. It's crystal point fixing, so you get to do whatever colors that you want to do. So, yep, yeah, that's a big deal. Uh, that was a pretty good pack, uh, especially for this format. Um, I don't know what's going to happen when the set finally releases. I just wanted to take a crack at it. Um, I've never really played this game. I've been playing it for maybe a week or two. And it has been wild. It has been interesting to the full extent. Okay, we got a mime out of this pack. Got a Kektar conductor. Oh, Frame will hate that. Okay, uh, Black Mage. I want that to peek out. Lulu. We got a Geomancer. Got a Thief. Goon, a foil X death. That's kind of cool. It's an uncommon, but it's still foil. A Yuri, a regular Yuri, which is kind of nice. Another X death, rare. A berserker, and a time mage. Again, really good ice card. All right, we're gonna go ahead and dig out Yuri and the Emperor, the foil one anyway. Let's go ahead and put the foil there, and you're there. Okay. So, I noticed that my camera shifted again. Wow, always wants to shift. Maybe it's tired of looking at that uh, Legend of the Crystals Final Fantasy. <laughs> I don't know, we, we'll just have to wait and see. All right, so I said uh, beforehand uh, that I would show you the back of the pack. I don't know if I can get a good zoom on this. Uh, definitely gonna try. Yeah, it's not doing it. Okay. Oh, what? what? I almost had it there. There it goes. So we got all those. Uh, it tells you how many cards there are. Um, your chances per pack and set. And uh, the set total is 130 cards plus 138 premium cards. This pack does not include any rule book. The pack might contain two identical cards, like we saw in the last pack. Isn't that amazing? And then it gives their offices and their trading card game logo. Um, on the flip side here, uh, if you want to see inquiries about this product, that's there. And it's just recommended age is 13 plus and it's made in Singapore. So in case anybody cares about the card packaging, um, I've opened up quite a few of these and I've only pulled, I think, one legend and it was a... Titus, so, which is kind of disappointing, and hey, look, this looks exactly, oh my god, oh, okay, these packs are a pain in the butt to open sometimes, they, they really stick. Eh, see if I can get it out, okay, okay, got it, okay, so I'm going to do something a little bit different, so, Kind of like how you see those Pokemon videos all the time. They take the back three cards and they, they push them forward. And we're just going to go ahead and do that. So we took the back three cards. We put them before those. That way we have the uh, foil and hero at the end. Okay. So we have Tama. Bard. Bards are amazing. Shiva. Go ahead and adjust my camera a little bit because I noticed it started slipping there for a second. Mushin Soldier. I cannot say that very well. Black Mage. Freet. Chemist. Geo. Guess I know. I'm 10. We got a Flamborg, which is a monster. We get a Samadai. Our foil is Alario, which 
allows you to go find Yuri or Chalinka. Okay, and add it to your hand. Okay. And our last card is a Tidus. Go figure, I got a, another Tidus. Uh, yeah, that's, I got another Legend. Uh, I, I guess it really wants me to play Water. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put that where it needs to go. And the foil over here. So yeah, that, that's really what you get out of the set. It's not incredibly great, and it's not incredibly horrible either. Um, it is, I think these retail with, for a pre-release is like $30, so if you are trying to get yourself one of these, uh, go pick them up from your local store if they have them. Otherwise, you're going to have to figure a way to buy them otherwise. Um, they're pretty limited, and again, like I said, if anything, they're at least worth the deck box over here, or even the chance to, you know, get the foil Yuri, I guess. <laughs> um, they're pretty awesome. All right, and that ends my video. Thank you again for watching. Uh, the video kind of cut out there for a moment. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully you can catch my next video. Uh, again, I might have some deck techs up later uh, or other things, okay? So thank you again for watching and I will see you again. And this has been Mune opening up Opus 7, a Final Fantasy trading card game. Thank you.